Hey y'all, my name is Holly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you our home for Christmas. Oh, let's see you there. <laughs> This is my husband, Drew. Hi. Before we get started, I wanted to thank y'all so much for all the sweet comments that y'all always leave me after every video that I post. I love showing my home um, for you guys throughout each season. I love, um, this is definitely a passion of mine, just trying to think of new ways to make our home a little bit more cozier. I just wanted to tell y'all from the bottom of my heart that I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And one more thing before we get started, I knew that I needed to mention this um, just because of little things that I've heard here and there, but I really wanted to encourage each and every one of you that if this is a channel that you love watching, if you love following along with our lives and seeing our homes and other people's homes that I film and just anything that we're out and about doing, then please subscribe to our channel, comment on our videos. I have heard a little rumor that um, YouTube may possibly be, um, getting rid of some of the smaller channels and I don't know what how small they're talking but just to be on the safe side I wanted to let y'all know that just in case anything does happen then you would know why I was going to encourage y'all to just go ahead and create that YouTube channel it doesn't cost you anything and then I would highly recommend that you subscribe to any channels that you love watching not only mine this goes for any channels out there anybody that you love keeping up with anybody that's starting to feel like family to you go subscribe to their channel show them some love comment nice things on their videos like I said I don't know um, how small the channels have to be and I'm not really sure all the details but I have heard that circulating around so that's why it is important to subscribe to any YouTube channel that you love watching just go ahead and click that subscribe button share them on your social media accounts um, let everybody know that um, hey I mean even if it's not me even if you're um, your friend and yourself are having a conversation and they are talking about a YouTube channel somebody that they love just bring it up say well have you subscribed to their channel just um make sure that everybody knows that you do need to hit that subscribe button um so we will all be able to stay around so i just wanted to throw that out there for y'all and we will go ahead and get started with this home tour with the front porch and it is really messy out here today y'all um not much on the front porch at all i just thought i would show you just what i did um so i just have the poinsettias from home depot some logs for our um, stove out here that is not even usable right now because it's soaking wet and then um, some plants that I got from Petals from the Past and this cute little bird that I have clipped on there just to add a little pop of red and it's just all wet and nasty right here now. I have a little rocking chair and then I got this is an Eddie Bauer blanket and it's like a slicky material it's perfect for outdoors and it comes with like a little bag um, that you can put it in almost like a sleeping bag and so I love this. I love this color. I had um, a subscriber actually reach out to me and ask if they could send me this. And so I was super pleased um, to get it. And I love the colors of it. It looks very Christmassy. And I can use it throughout other seasons. And so, like I said, this is an Eddie Bauer blanket. Over here this year, I just have my little Santa Claus, my little vintage Santa Claus in the corner of the house. And then our front door with the wreath that I purchased from Home Depot this year. It smells really good too. And then these cute little bells. We got them on our Black Friday run at Kirkland. Coming in the front door, I just love, I love having my front door open um, throughout the day to just let some light in. And I love my black door. I'm so glad that I painted it. So we're going to start in my foyer as always. And I'm just going to share with you guys where I got my new things. Um, I know it kind of gets boring me going around telling every little detail where I got everything, but I have in my videos past. So anything that is not new will be in my older videos. And you can see where I purchased them. So the new thing I got this year, one of the new things in the foyer is this Merry Christmas sign. And I absolutely love it. I saw them at Christmas Village. If you watch my Christmas Village video, you saw that my thumbnail, we were holding this. But I held out and I'm so glad that I did because I got a better price at Rustic Relics. And for those of y'all that are new, Rustic Relics is a little antique shop um, in my town and I absolutely love it there. And so I was able to pick up this Merry Christmas sign. And then this is supposed to be a little ornament. This was mom's. She used to have them on her tree all the time. And I took one home with me and I just hung it on the little lamp. I got that idea from my Aunt Edna, which is uh, May May's mom. May May made it. If you don't follow May May and you love crafting ideas or more um, home videos, she shows a little bit of hers and her mom's. Um, 
throughout the seasons and she's the one that actually got me started with my YouTube channel. So go subscribe to May May Made It. And I will try to link some of those websites um, in the description. And then this is new this year. I purchased this off the online yard sale. I love my little record player. It actually plays CDs and then it has a place to play um, cassettes over here, but I just use it for the records. And so I found a bunch of um, records at the thrift store for 99 cents. And I have a bunch of them stored in my drawer right here, but I wanted to have these displayed out. These usually stay in my drawer, but I had to show you all these because I thought the covers were just so pretty. So I kept those out for y'all. Oh, and I'm going to do at the end of this video, um, they're going to be like a night home tour, just a small little clip of what everything looks like lit up at night time. And then my sweet little Cracker Barrel barn um, my mother-in-law, Miss Althea, got me that for, um, a little surprise one year from Cracker Barrel. And then my mom made my sister and I one of these suitcases. She painted it, and then, I don't know if you can tell, but in the snowflakes, there's some twinkly lights, and I think it is so cute. And then I got this sled from Rustic Relics, too. And let me tell you, if it snows here in Alabama, like it did about two years ago, I'll show you the picture. I actually have a picture of the snowfall in our um, living room. But if it snows like it did then, I am going to be using this I remember in some of my other videos from Christmas, I used to have this, like, a little snow globe area in here. Like, it was just, like, Christmas exploded. And it still may look like a lot to a lot of y'all that are new, but you need to go watch my other two because... I had a lot of Christmas in here. So I kind of toned it down a little bit this year, just a little bit more simple, and I really love how it turned out. And now we're walking from our foyer into our dining room. I love my chandelier. This was not in my home tour um, last year for Christmas. It has been in my home tours in the past, but for Christmas, I just absolutely loved it in here. So I got this from um, home goods, and I loved the furriness of it, and then just a few little trees and some candles, and then I have just some copper pictures up there, and then that is a Courier and Ives little platter. I absolutely love it. And you can't tell right now, but these are actually lit up, these little ornaments from this moose. I love him. I was trying to think of a name for him, and I never found one that just fit him. And so, if you have any ideas for names for me to name him, just comment it down below. But I just think he's adorable. Mom and I found him at Kirkland's last year, and I loved him. Mom and I were like, he is so cute, but I didn't have a clue where to put him, so I didn't get him. Well, then this year, I was like, I need that moose. Please, Kirkland, still have that moose. So, I found him online, and I ordered him, and he fits perfect over here. And he's something I can keep up throughout the winter season. So, go look at the buffet. I just got Drew to pick me some um, fresh greenery from the yard, and I just put those in a container with water. And then right here, I absolutely loved styling this. This is just a dough bowl, and I have some lemons from our lemon tree, some oranges and cranberries. I just have it full with this candle and um, deer antlers. And it's just so easy, so simple, and it just screams Christmas to me, old world Christmas, and I loved it. Then over here we have Darla with her peppermint hot cocoa apron on. And my mom actually got me this apron from Kirkland's last year. She got me, Bridget, and herself one. And then over here in my corner, little cabinet, it hasn't changed any besides this little deer attachment. This is a cotton color piece. And so um, these little attachments uh, pop off and I have one to change out seasonally. So Miss Brenda actually gave me this one and I was so happy when she gave it to me because I didn't have a Christmas one for my cookie jar and I love the little reindeer. And then also I need to show y'all this. Oh, I don't even have the mount. Well, here I'm going to decorate for y'all on film. So these are little candy canes that I made out of little pipe cleaners. And I think they turned out so cute. They're so fun to just put them in little coffee mugs like this or to um, tie them on uh, gifts with some bows. And so uh, super cute and affordable idea. And those are supposed to be like that. 
here on this little piece my purses stay below this area so we're not even going to show that because it's a mess but i needed something to put drew's work boots in and my purses because we always come in and out this door instead of the laundry room door and so i had to have this piece back over here and so i just have this little um container that drew's nana got us for christmas one year and i have some plates and napkins in here i love collecting like just fun little paper plates and napkins throughout each season and so i wanted to display them so i decided over here would be cute so i have these napkins holly jolly plates and i got these from hobby lobby okay i probably shouldn't even tell y'all this this is too much information probably but i about burnt my house down so i'm going to share with y'all be careful on some of these plates i have this like gold or coppery color you need to read the back i don't know who in the world would read the back of plates before they put them in the microwave but i only had my dinner in there for just a few seconds and i could smell smoke i was like oh my gosh it like burnt the bottom of my food so y'all be careful with these like i said i just wanted to keep everybody safe so i wanted to share with y'all that detail if you're buying these pretty plates pretty little lamp I got from a thrift store for like six dollars and I was going to change out this lampshade but I just love how old that it looked and it's in really good shape so I just kept it on there and then we have our cute little medicine cabinet that I got from um, Rustic Relics. I've had a few of y'all ask why that's in my dining room. Well our house is all open and there's not much wall space and so this was the best place for it and also we have a little mirror to look out while we're going outside but I just have some of my um uh, capsules and these products oils and that kind of stuff in my medicine cabinet and I loved how old that it looked I think I got this for like six dollars it's so pretty this has been here for I think a year or a little bit more now it's just a picture that I got from the thrift store and I chalk painted it with chalkboard paint and then um I put this wreath that I made this is actually from uh Christmas music notes I mean, Christmas music sheets, but you can't tell, so I keep it up there seasonally, but I just loved how that looks. So that stays there all the time. Turn from the dining room, and you have the kitchen, and I love our kitchen. I love this big island. I love the sink in the middle of the island. It's just perfect, and so we'll start over here on the refrigerator. I have found these on Pinterest and I love having them printed out for me. I had a fall bucket list, now I have the winter bucket list and it just tells you all kinds of fun little things. And I think that the um, little pictures on this are just so cute. So I love having this ha uh, hung on my fridge throughout the seasons. And I saw that there were some spring ones, some summer ones. So I'm gonna be collecting those to put up on my refrigerator every season. It's just the simple things that make me happy. But I wanted to share with y'all that that is on Pinterest if you wanna print it out. I think you can just type in winter bucket list and they have like all sorts of ones you can Over choose here, from. I made this farmhouse sign for anybody that's new watching our channel. This piece of wood was out in the scrap pile at our farm and I just painted farmhouse on it. And then, um, and we actually do live on a farm. So <laughs> a lot of people always ask, do you really live in, on a farm? And we do. Drew actually, him and his dad always take care of the cows every evening. And I want to eventually get some chickens and other animals, but that'll be later on down the road. And so I got this from, um, this is Live Garland I got from Home Depot. If you watch my Black Friday shopping trip with Dana, then you'll see where I got that. And this was actually, I bought two pieces they were um uh they're 20 feet of garland so i bought two of them so i had 40 feet so i cut up one to make three different garlands and so this is one of them that i cut up and i just love having that over our kitchen windows and then i have a lot going on here but i have became obsessed with plants lately and so i got a christmas cactus and it was blooming and it is so pretty and then this is an amaryllis and it has not bloomed yet I was hoping that it would be bloomed out before the Christmas home tour, but we didn't make it there. And then um, just a few other herbs in the window. Oh, and I have to show you this. This is new. I got this from Petals from the Past. It's a little boot, and I thought it was so cute just to put clippings in, but I had to have him. So here's my little coffee bar area, and I've changed this up a lot. I love how it looks without the cure reg and just using the older pieces to actually make my coffee and wassail and um apple ciders so this is what it looks like this i got from a uh, home goods and i absolutely love this little santa mug he was so cute so i had to pick him up a couple weeks ago and then over here we have some coffee beans i got these from a thrift store coffee beans um peppermints 
some honey. This is actually honey from Just Dig It Farms. You can go follow her. Her name is Tracy. She works with me at Petter from the Past. She has some amazing videos on her channel. And so I'll try to remember to link it below, but it's Just Dig It Farms. And then I have my wassail already made up. I, actually, I love this stuff. It tastes so good. And this is, everybody always asks where I got this. Um, I've had this in a lot of home tours, but I've never used it. I used to have coffee beans in it, but I actually use it now. And I make my coffee with it and everything. The, it's a pergulator. The pergulator's in the cabinet right now because I only used um, my wassail to be heated up um, last night. So I like to heat this up and then I put it over here on this little mat that has spices in it. I got this from Petals from the Past and I thought it was so cute over here. And then this is another pergulator I got from... Um, Rustic Relics, and so I love heating my water up in here to make hot chocolate or making my coffees or um, using it for my oatmeal, so I just loved how it looked, and all this is all usable. And I have my stevia, and then I got these from Target. Um, they have like a little hot cocoa section, and I thought these were so cute, and I also have little honey sticks in here also. And then in here I just have, I don't even know what's in these containers. Oh, my coffee's in this one. What's in this one? It's heavy. Oh, this is just stuff to make hot chocolate and stuff with. And then also I got these cups from... Oh, a bloom fell off. I got these cups from uh, TJ Maxx. They have lots of different styles in their little to-go cups. And I like having them right here too. So I have lots of um, packages coming in the mail so I can give my UPS drivers or FedEx drivers some coffee or anything that they want keep them a little warm and happier as they're working these long holiday hours. My sink, we have my cute little cow caddy. I got him at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. I just put a wreath on him. And then I have my Thieves dish soap and hand soap. This is all natural cleaners. Um, I only use all natural products now. If you've watched my videos before, then you know. If you're new, then I just want to let y'all know that um, during I have been trying to clean out all of the toxic junk from our home and try to go to more natural um, products to use and we have been a lot more healthier this year I will tell you that and so I got the Thieves dish soap and the hand soap whenever you order from Young Living they don't come in these bottles I ordered the bottles from my Amazon shop and I'll link my Amazon shop below so you can um, easily access all of these products and then I bought these from uh, Etsy these little labels and I just think they're really pretty they're pretty displayed but the best thing is it's a lot better for your health you can get off an Etsy, but I found them at an antique shop, and they're, like, homemade, and they're the best little rags ever to clean with, wash your dishes with, and so I have a lot of these, but I love keeping my red one out for Christmas. And then moving on to this side, I have my Aria diffuser, and this is by Young Living. During I don't burn candles anymore. We don't have any wall plug-ins. I honestly did not realize um, until this year how harmful all that stuff was to your body. I encourage you to stop this video right now. Just go to Google and type in, are candles bad for you? And it will list you a just long list of things that it can do to your body. And it is scary. Like hormone disruptors, they are um, bad for your allergies. I mean, if you just got ready, if you got rid of your candles and wall plug-ins, I feel highly sure that you would be able to notice a big difference in just your overall health. And so, Drew and I opted for a better way to be able to have our home smelling really good and then breathing in stuff that's actually really healthy and beneficial for us. So, I have my Aria diffuser. And then right now, I'm going to show y'all, you can go on Pinterest and there's different um, blends for your diffuser that kind of gives you those warm holiday scents that you're looking for in candles and so this one i think is called gingerbread man and this is the one that i used and i will pull that up right now in a graphic so as you can see you can go to pinterest and type in anything any kind of fall scents christmas spring winter and they pop up cute little graphics and you can make your own scents and your house smells really good i'm telling you and then down here i have another collection of oils a succulent this was a candle and i scooped out all the stuff and i just put one of my little succulents in it because this jar was so pretty i didn't want to get rid of it and then this is just a little flower frog that one of my sweet subscribers miss donna gave me and it is um 
what we use to put, these are gel capsules, and we use to make um, little peels with our essential oils. And so that's what this is used for. And then, oh, I love my little chicken. Oh, I gotta tell you about this too. Okay, so this is um, a little flower. When I went to the petals from the past Christmas party, um, one of my friends that I work with there, her name is Lacey. Her daughter, Evelyn, she is so sweet. She watches my videos all the time, so hey, Evelyn. But she made me this little flower with the little gift that she got from the Christmas party. And so it was just a little kit that um, she had one like as a gift as i said and so she made me this little flower so i stuck it in my window so i could remember her every day while i'm over here lighting my diffuser so you'll see bible verses kind of posted around my home i got that idea from my friend amber and i just loved it just to be able to go to the places that i go to every day and be able to read a verse or just something that speaks to me and so right here i just have my weapons or praise and thanksgiving this is how i fight my battle which is actually a song and i absolutely love that song I pretty much tear up every time that I hear it. And so over here, we have my microwave, cutting board stacked up, and then my sweet friend from Hawaii, Samantha, whenever I did those Christmas cards, uh, I did that video, and a lot of you helped me out and sent Christmas cards to her, and she distributed them for troops overseas, and so she sent me a sweet little gift, and it's um, homemade goodness, and then it says, oh, stir it up. And so this is actually by Mud Pie, but I thought this was so pretty, so I put it here. I got that little tray from a thrift store a few years ago. And then I have my sweet little cow. She is new, her name is Dolly. I got her at Christmas Village and I put a wreath around her neck and a little red Christmas bow. And she is so pretty and I've been looking for one just like her for years now. And when I finally found her for a good deal, I had to have her for my kitchen and She's our sweet little dolly. And then over here, we have, everybody always asks where I got this. This came from Kirkland's a few years ago and nobody can find it anymore. I wish I could link it for you because everybody always asks about it. But I don't know where to get that now. But I have our pink Himalayan salt. This is a Carrier and Ives mug and I just have some little stirs in here. And I got this from the thrift store and I have all of our little spoons wooden spoons and um, scoopers, I'm trying to see. Just all of this displayed in here and I think it just turned out so pretty, I loved it. And then I have a scale and this little frying pan used to have a candle in it. I got it from Dollar General, but again, I scooped it out and then I just put all of our, there's black pe pepper, sage, copaiba, um, any kind of um, parsley, any kind of herb essential oil, I put it in this little frying pan so I can use it because actually you can digest these. These are FDA approved. Young Living is the only oil company out there that are FDA approved to actually be able to digest. And this is their Vitality line. So any of the white labels feel safe to digest them. Little Himalayan salt rock over here. And I just thought it was pretty over here because it stays lit up all the time and it's by the salt. And this is supposed to be really good for your air. So I have it, and then a mason jar full of spices, and then this is just a Christmas book that I picked up from the thrift store that I threw in here. But I just love this. I love this little area. It just makes me so happy. I don't know why. I guess because it just looks um, so different than anything that I've ever seen on Pinterest. So I love how that came together. And then over here, I stole this idea from my mama. She gave me these a few years ago, her and dad. And they're usually on a tree that I have in the kitchen, but I didn't put it up this year. And so I just draped it over my kitchen aid like my mama did. And then I have my cute little hand towels, little gingerbread man. And I love our kitchen. I don't know which room in the house is our favorite. Oh, I gotta show y'all stuff over here too. I need to go ahead and tell y'all that. So, how about this year, y'all comment which room in the house is your favorite or which little decorating idea was your favorite so I can know. So, up here, I didn't know where to put this. I never have anything on top of my cabinets. And you can't really see. The lighting's bad. But I had this extra cake plate. And so, y'all know I live, love these ceramic little pie dishes. So, I just went ahead and put it um, on top of the cabinet. And then over here. Oh, I have two more things to show y'all. Okay. So, over here on... This uh, tray, I love it, it has the legs. And so I got 
this on here and this came from Petals, this greenery, and this is not real. I tried to decorate with mostly real greenery. Like I sold a ton of things, y'all, this year. I emptied out tons of tubs this year. And I absolutely love this greenery. I got this from Petals from the past, and this is um, just so pretty. I loved the frosted berries, and so I just tucked those on here. And then I have my cute cake plate I got from Target with a pie. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that um, I made a big pot of soup last night and uh, this pecan pie because it was been freezing here in Alabama. So Drew came home from being out in the cold all day to a warm meal. And I told him I made this pecan pie. <laughs> And that cracked all of y'all up on Instagram that I told him that and he was loving it But he did find out that I didn't really make it, but that was really good I'm actually ready to have a piece. I'm gonna have a piece after I finish this home tour. This beautiful Santa picture I got him from um, This thrift store and I just think he is so pretty look at his little jingle bell So I have him there and then my little candle arbor and so that's what's on my kitchen island Okay, let's turn around down here. Okay, so y'all know in all of my home tours, I don't even have the tags off of this yet because I wanted to ask you all's opinion. So I used to have a neutral long runner here and it was like white and gray, but I'm kind of liking the pops and colors and I've gotten that from Miss Brenda because this is something I could easily change out all the time that's inexpensive to change out and it gives me a different look. So I got this one from Home Goods. And I'm absolutely loving the colors in this. But what do y'all think? Should I venture off and do stuff like this or just stick with my all neutrals? So that's why the tags are not off of this yet because I wanted to see how y'all felt about it. Because I absolutely love it, but I wanted to see what everybody else thought also. So I'm going to back up and try to show you what it looks like with everything. And then this is from our island into our living room. And this is all open. And I have a fire going right now. This is, um, if you have Netflix, you can go to just type in fire. And they have different ones. Like even some of them have Christmas music with it. This one crackles. And so I don't have a fire going today. Um, but I'll have one later on in the videos whenever you can see how everything looks tonight. So right now I just have y'all that one to look at. So two new things back here that I picked up are these two lamps behind my couch and I loved this when I saw this one at Target that's where I got this one. Oh, I had to have it it was gorgeous I love the little glass dome and I put an Edison bulb in it I don't know if you can tell through the picture it's kind of bright but I put an Edison bulb in this one and then the one over here the same day Drew and I went to the thrift store and I found this one y'all Drew and I Almost got in a fight over this lamp. He said, Holly, you are not buying this lamp. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. It didn't have the shade. And it um, was just this piece. And you see how it's all scuffed up. And he actually took it out of my hands and sat it down and said, let's go. I don't want, just want us to get that. Y'all, it was $10. So I went back and picked it up. I said, Drew, whenever I get it home, you're going to see. And he was laughing at me. He was like, you find the most ridiculous junk. So I got it home and I put it all together. And he was just kind of like, like you could tell that he liked it, but he just didn't want me to win. <laughs> so we love it in here. I think it's so pretty. Everybody that comes in our home loves this new look. So I loved finding this. Like this was $10, like I said, for this. I had to buy the lampshade, but oh, it's just so pretty. I love the brass. I love mixing the old with the new. And you see, it works. Okay, and then over here on the back of my table... We'll start on this side. I have my little sign. Again, another little quote. And then I have our oils displayed on this long piece that I just love this. I got this from Lake Martin. We go there a lot with our friends Drake and Jonna. And we found this piece um, whenever we stopped for lunch. They always grill and stuff on the boat. So I got off and was walking the shoreline and I found this piece of driftwood and I brought it home and um, gave it a good cleaning and then Drew drilled the holes to put my oils in. And so I like having my oils displayed. A lot of people ask why I have oils displayed all over my house. Well, it's because I use them. If I keep them put up, I'll forget where they are or I'll forget to use them. And so I like having them just right there in my arm's reach. And I think they're so pretty displayed. I love all the different colors. And so then I have some little air plants and then I have my diffuser and this little decal um, came from my friend Carrie, but you can get these off of Etsy. And I actually had um, somebody send me some 
and for the month of December, you can get 10% off, and I'll link her down below, but it's all kind of different decals that you can buy um, or custom make, and like I said, if you use promo code Simply Lake and Lace for the rest of this month of December, she's offering 10% off, and so I'll show you the different things she has made me. And then uh, her name is Molly Holt. She has an Instagram page. So in this diffuser, I have going the diffuser blend, um, Deck the Halls. And so I'll show you that graphic next that I got, got off of Pinterest. And I'll show you the oils that I used in it. And my home is smelling really good right now. It always smells really good because I keep these things going 24-7. The Aria in my kitchen has like a 12-hour run time. And you can go to sleep with these. You can leave your house with these. You don't have to worry about house fires like you do with candles. So these are so awesome to have in your home. Oh, and I love the candle flicker. And they have different settings, different color mode settings. They have just bright white and light white. Different hour run times. But, um... I love the candle flicker. It just kind of gives you that um, warm feeling. But I found this little um, book. It says Eat More Chicken. And it, those of y'all that know me knows that I am fully, full on obsessed with Chick-fil-A. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I love Chick-fil-A and their food, just their personalities. They're just whole, just love everything about it. They are just this sweet, you cannot go through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru having a bad day. That's all I got to say. I love the people that work there. They just, they've got it down pat. They're just phenomenal people. I love that company. So when I found this, uh, Eat More Chicken at Rustic Relics, this little book. I was like, oh, I'm getting that. So, it's I got my little herb Bible and then my Chick-fil-A book. And um, it looked Christmassy together. And then over here, I was hoping that this would be bloomed out before my home tour. But it did not. So, maybe in my winter home tour, it will be bloomed. But this is an amaryllis. And I have this little book. And I went ahead and showed the picture of what it's supposed to look like. And they're so pretty. They're like a really awesome Christmas plant and it's so easy to take care of y'all. So I got this at Petals from the past and they have these little bulb vases and so you just fill it up with water and then you just set your bulb inside of it. When I got it, it was like this tall and look how much it has grown. And so like I said, just super easy. I haven't done anything. Like I've maybe changed this water out twice in like a month because it kind of gets dingy and you'll know when to change it out. But other than that, that's it. You just let it do its thing. And I think they're going to be pretty. I bought a red one. And then I bought one like this. Um, that's white. And it has the little bit of red in it. And so I'm thinking this one's going to be my red one. And the white one's the one in my kitchen window. And then I kept this plant over here. Because it was looking so good and healthy. And I actually had a little red bird. Um, he was so cute. And he had little feathers. I had one on my front porch. I should have brought one of the birds in here and sat them. I think I'm going to do that after this home tour <laughs> because I just love the little birds sitting in the, um, plants for a pop of color. And then this is my little, um, bottle of water that I use to fill up my diffuser with. And so I had that over here to fill up my diffuser and water my plant. See, all this stuff is like usable. <laughs> That's what I love about the new way that I'm decorating. I just love this. And over here, I see and some of my candles have already went out. I got these candles from Hobby Lobby, and I absolutely love them. And I just put them on top of this little scale. It's actually a clock I got from Kirkland. And then in here, I have to open this to show y'all. So one of my subscribers, Miss Donna, she sent me this major scene she knew i didn't have one and she said she found the perfect one and she did this is the perfect colors i love this it's so beautiful this is the true meaning of christmas right here oh i'm kind of getting emotional feeling i just i love this and i love that miss donna gave it to me and that whenever i look at it i can think about her and just her sweet giving um spirit and then over here in this cabinet, I just have some books, and I found these candlesticks at the thrift store. And then just a few more little items in here. And over here in this one, we don't have much either. Um, the only thing that's kind of new is, or not kind of new, that is new. The rest of it I don't see is new. Um, just little, little things tucked in here. But Miss 
Donna also sent me over with that same package this little ornament and I didn't put it on my tree but I put it just right here in this little glass cabinet and it's a lineman powers my heart and so those of y'all that don't know Drew is a lineman and so I thought this little ornament was so sweet this way I got that pillow at TJ Maxx a few years ago and then I have my phone I love this phone my mama my dad's mom Mama Fair, she has this phone in her living room and I've loved it for years. And so whenever I found this one at the thrift store, I went ahead and put it in my buggy. And then right now I just have, uh, this is uh, the picture that Drew and I have with Santa Claus this year. And then this is all my Christmas cards. This has just been where I've been putting them. I've just been stacking them all up on here. And um, I'm loving how that looks. I kind of dressed it up for Christmas. Remember, um, the last few years, I've put garland on the other side of the foyer on my windows. One year, I even frosted the mirror, the uh, glass. That will never happen again, the frosting the glass. That took forever to get off. It was beautiful, but, oh, that was a pain to get off. But I didn't even put the garland up this year. Um, I just left it more simple. And then over here, I just have a basket that I got from Target with some quilts spilling out of it. I got this quilt from um she was actually a teacher where i used to go to school and her name is angie barnett and she used to have a facebook page i don't think she does anymore but she has lots of antiques her um home is beautiful i love seeing her pictures but she had a huge um like primitive sale um if you follow me on instagram you would have seen me going through and touring everything what it all looked like her little um she has like two different sheds full of stuff her and her mom and so i bought a few things from her this year and this was one of them a little lap quilt and i have been wanting a quilt like this for a while but my gosh the ones at the thrift stores that are in terrible shape are like 50 bucks and i got this one for 15 and so i was excited to get that one and then i just have my little bookshelf over here and then my old Santa Claus that I got from a thrift store. And I love how he moves. And then my living room. I got a new rug this year. Um, it has a little bit of navy blue in it. Some gray. It really kind of picks up different in person than what it does on the camera. But I loved the detail in this rug. And then I have just some fur blankets that I've thrown over our... Um, furniture to have that cozy look for the winter and then this lamp i purchased at a thrift store not too long ago and i have a plant over here and then these cute little carolers that i got um, from a thrift store also and down here i just have a bowl full of pine cones this is a um fake fox tail i just thought it was so cute miss Althea actually bought me this and then some of drew's antlers the pillow that actually inspired me this season it is this beautiful green color oh i love it so much um and it, this one i got from kirkland's and whenever i got the kirkland's catalog in the mail this season i saw this i was like i've got to have this and so this says um holly jolly and i have a friend that calls me holly jolly so I was excited to be able to get that pillow. I love it. And then over here, I just have a basket full of blankets. And then this is a picture that I was talking about of our snowfall. This was taken in our front yard. And so I just printed it and put it in this old frame that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. And look at that. Oh, it's just so pretty. We love looking at that scene. And then over here we have just a little collection horns i mean antlers i don't know why i said horns we have a little collection of antlers and then i had this old bench and then this cute blanket that my cousin kayla got me and i think she got it home goods and then i painted and distressed the i'm sorry i painted drew distressed it this little um toolbox and then i just went to the thrift store and found all kind of fun little books for whenever Alyssa and eli come over and books for drew and i to read um, this is a decorating book. I just filled it full. And then I got, um, we love this Christmas movie, Christmas Vacation. I hadn't even opened it yet. But I got it from TJ Maxx for $10. And so we wanted to play that one night. So I just stuck that over here too. Here, I need to back up our couch. I'm telling y'all, like, every year that I decorate for Christmas, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite year. This is my favorite year. But this one is my absolute favorite. Like, I do not want to take my Christmas stuff down. I feel like December's already went by so fast. 
and I'm like, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, but the good thing is, I think I'll be able to keep most of this stuff up till, like, February, and then I'm even gonna keep, like, I think I'm gonna keep those green pillows, um, gonna try to add something with them to, for the spring, so we'll see how that plays out, but let's talk about my couch area. So, over here, I just have it really simple. I have my tray, my calendar, a little notebook, um, a little kettle that I put a succulent in, a little spritzer, and then another one of those things from Petals that's got spices in it. So, whenever I'm drinking my hot beverage for the night, I can place it on here, and it really smells up. It smells so good. And then, let's see, the couch. I got these pillows at Home Goods. I loved this green. I told you when I saw that Holly Jolly, I was like, that's the colors I want to do this season in my living room. Because usually it's really red in here. Um, and I decided to tone it down and just do little pops of red. So, those came um, two in a pack. And then I bought these individually at Home Goods. And I love this fur. Like, y'all, I'm going to be so sad whenever I have to take down my stuff for Christmas. I want to be able to use all this stuff for spring. We'll see if I can incorporate it. And then these were on sale Black Friday. I got two of these blankets, one's in my bedroom, but these were $10 Black Friday at Target. And then I also got this blanket also from, um, I believe TJ Maxx. And I loved the little fuzzy balls on his, on this. And over here on my mantle, this is another um, live garland from Home Depot. This one, the one over here, and the one in my bedroom made up one big one that I cut into sections. Just piece this together. These are cute little stockings that my mama made us um, whenever we first got married. So I will always use these because uh, just having your mom make you something just means everything. And then I bought these um, little this D and H for Drew and Holly at um I can't remember actually. It's probably like a little boutique from around here. And then I just got these little lights. And these are little copper lights. And they're on a timer. And I just strung them up. Don't mind the cords. And then I have cute little deer antlers that are sparkly. And then this, um, these are really pretty ornaments I got from TJ Maxx a few years ago. And then down here, the fire's not going. But, um... I love this because it's very practical and I love being able to decorate with things that I can use. And so I have my bucket full of um, logs for the fire. I have some kindling and some pine cones in this bucket. Oops. And then right here I have, used to have newspapers all in it, but I've ran out of newspapers. And now we've been saved our oils come in this so they don't break. And so we've been using that. And then over here is our Christmas tree this year. And y'all, seriously, this year, I told everybody on Instagram, I said, I'm just putting the tree up. I'm not putting any ornaments on it. I'm going to do the Christmas tree with the lights, and that's it. Well, then I started going through some of my ornaments, and I saw that I've had these that I've never been able to put on my tree before because I was saving it for a bedroom idea I was going to do. I'm in the guest bedroom one year, and I decided not to. So, I decided to go ahead and put these on the tree, and I absolutely loved how it turned out. It's just very simple looking. I've had this tree topper. I made that years ago. I just um, bought one of those wooden ends from, ends from Hobby Lobby. And then I just took sticks from the yard and hot glued them on there. And then I have my sticks coming out the top. And then all these ornaments, like I said, I've had. I got them from antique stores or Hobby Lobby. These are from the thrift store. My mom got me these from the thrift store, these green ones. They're so pretty. These bells I got from Kirkland's on Black Friday. See if there's anything else new. So just really simple basic tree this year. These, some of the batteries went dead, so I just didn't feel like changing them out for the home tour and turning them on. But they're just little lights. I got these off of Amazon, and you just clip them onto your tree and use a remote to turn them on, and they're so cute. And then I have some of our Christmas presents wrapped. I got, in case y'all are wondering, those came from Walmart, that wrapping paper, and this came from the Dollar Tree, and I loved them together through the hallway real quick. This is another thing that I purchased from uh, Miss Angie uh, along with that quilt. This is a beautiful painted scene for winter and I had been looking for one of these and I got this one from her little um, vintage front porch sale and it's so pretty and it was painted the year that I was born, 1991 and I love all the detail. Into the guest bathroom. We're not going to go to the guest bedrooms because I don't have those decorated for Christmas this year. 
And so I'll just show you in here in the laundry room. But my mom made me this shower curtain and she's not making those for sale. I've had lots of people ask me and she just has too much going on between um, her grandkids and keeping daddy uh, taken care of. So I absolutely love this. This is just made out of painters like that drop cloth. And then I have some eucalyptus hung up in my shower. And then um, some dried eucalyptus over here. I have this cute little diffuser that I got from Young Living on this copper tray. And then I have this little cabinet piece. I bought this window and Drew built me this. Some little jingle bells. And then up here, Miss Brenda, uh, not Miss Brenda, Miss um, Donna gifted me this cute little picture for Christmas last year. So I have it in the bathroom. Then we have our, this is like our poopery. We made this our own with essential oils. And so I have that one up here. I just love having those jars displayed. They're so pretty. Here above my toilet on our shelves, we just have my cute little truck that I got from JCPenney's and it was a fall truck. I had pumpkins in it, but I tore it apart and I decorated it seasonally. And I have some fake garland over here. On um, my shelf that I bought years ago, I didn't know what I was gonna use it for, but it turned out perfect to display my oils in. And I have lots of my, just like kind of Christmas oils, my Christmas beer oil. I absolutely love the smell of that oils. Comment below if you've ever tried or used this Christmas spirit and just tell everybody how awesome it is. It's a very inexpensive oil. It's only like $10.50, but I just have like some uh, tree oils over here. And then I have th this little tray and I have this cute little hand towel. And then I have this. I got the Christmas spirit hand soap. And uh, whenever you buy it, it doesn't look like this from Young Living. It comes in Christmas spirit bottles, but it comes highly concentrated. So you can dilute it three ways. And so um, I put a third of it in here and put the rest of it with water. I got this cute little hand pump at TJ Maxx. I put this little guy on here and then I bought this cute little Christmas spirit hand soap label from um, Bergamot and Lime. There it is. And so this is off of an Etsy shop. Here's Mommy and Jep. Say hey. Say we're dirty and we need baths. We're going to get some before Christmas. So this is the laundry room. And this is where Maddie and Jep stay whenever we're not home. But they um, have their own little Christmas tree in here. And I just add just a few Christmassy touches in here. Just to warm it up for their bedroom. And then I got to show y'all this. This is really cute. This is a little tea towel. Um... What Samantha wrapped up my little spoon and spoon holder that was in the kitchen. She wrapped it up in this cute little cow tea towel. And so I just put it in here. And then we have just this blanket. And we don't have much of anything Christmassy over here. I just pretty put, much put it on this side. This is the thieves laundry soap that I use to um, wash our clothes with. The dryer balls, we drop our oils on that instead of using dryer sheets. Some old clothes pins. Here, I bought this old ironing board from Russet Relics to put our oils on to use as we're washing clothes. And then um, I just put a few things on the shelf. I bought this shelf from Russet Relics also and put it on to the back of this. And then I got these collars from Russet Relics, little jingle bells for Maddie and the little um, scarf for Jep. And I loved the idea of having this hung up in here to be able to store stuff on, but to also hide this ugly breaker box that's in here. So that's what I did with this piece. And I think it turned out so precious. I guess I should tell y'all for those of you that's new, Drew built me this little area. This was supposed to be like a place where you put your, um, like a freezer or something, but this stores my brooms and stuff. And then we have storage in here and he built this on top of it. Um, it has the dog's food, the cat's food, and then I have this little piece. I got this out of an old house and painted it and rigged it up where I could hang all of my little invitations on. And then we'll head into our master bedroom. And I got these clippings. Um, Drew got them out from the farm and then my sweet neighbor friend sent me over some fresh um, clippings from her yard. So I got these leaves tucked in here. And then this dried fruit. I got this from Kirkland's and I use this for my fall decorations and I loved it so much for Christmas too. And then I got um, 
Yes, Drew's family lives in Kentucky, and so we went to a family reunion there this summer. They have one every year, and we went to an antique store, and I got this cute little lamp there. And then panning over into our bedroom. I love our bedroom this year. So usually my bedroom's more elegant and the living room's more fun. And we kind of swapped it up a little bit this year, which is still elegant in here, but it's just got a lot of fun pops of red. And so um, we'll start with the bed. Oh, I just love it. It's so pretty in camera. So my mom got me these lights from Target and they're white. They're like glazed white and those won't be... Um, let's see, I did that night tour last night, and so these won't be on there. Um, I just got these. She came to my house this morning. We put those up, so you won't be able to see those, but I love how that turned out. This is the uh, last clipping of greenery that came with that one from um, Home Goods, and so that's that fresh garland from them. And then these pillow covers, these are on pillows that used to go on my couch. And my mama made me pillow covers. Those pillows are usually on my couch, but like I said, I wanted to change things up this year. And then I got this beautiful pillow. Let me get up close so you can see it. This came from um, Home Goods, I believe. I think they have them at TJ Maxx too. But I loved the little um, beads and the details in this pillow. And again, I can have this one set out for um, the winter also. And then, let's see, I got this new blanket. I wanted one of those really thick crocheted ones, but they're really expensive. But I found this one for $30 at Home Goods, so I got it. And then this bedspread came from uh, Walmart. I had a subscriber tell me about it, and so I loved this bedspread. And then I moved my benches around. Drew made me this bench. This is from a uh, twin-size headboard and footboard, and he just made me a little bench out of it. Some furry pillows from Home Goods. Any any of my pillows or blankets, pretty much from the typical Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx or Target. This is another one of those um, blankets, like my white one on my couch. This one came from Target for ten dollars on Black Friday. And then this little pedestal, I'll have to find her and I'll link her below. But I had a um, subscriber reach out to me and she makes these she has an Etsy shop and I love this little pedestal so she sent me one and um she makes all kind of shapes sizes colors and I just loved this one and then I got these Santa mugs this year at Walmart and so they were so cute and I have some bibles yeah, these trees are usually ones in my four-year ones besides um Drew's deer wall in the living room but I brought them both in here this year I tucked them in some baskets that I got from TJ Maxx and then put some material in there, just straight some lights, and they're really pretty at night lit up. And so I've wanted a Christmas tree in here for a long time, but I haven't bought one or found one yet that I love that was going to be skinny enough. So I was like, well, I have these, so I'm just going to use these this year. So you, if you've watched my home tours before, you've seen all of this. This wreath used to hang on my front door, but I thought it was pretty hanging up. I love the pop of white up there. And then over here, we have this little Santa Claus. My mama got the, I don't know, it's been at her house for years. And mama went through also, we were getting rid of a bunch of her Christmas stuff. And she said, I can get rid of that. And I said, oh no, you can't. I said, that is Christmas memories right there. So, I don't know if he needs new batteries or what, because he's not really working right for me. But, he, like, lifts his head down and pulls this up, and he'll read these little books. Oops. So, you'll put the books in his hand, and it'll read you a story. It's Holiday Spirit, The Greatest Gift, and Special Friend. So, you put these little books in his hands, and he reads you the stories. And so, he's so sweet, and I love him, so I put him in here. And then, over here, I love this atrium. I got it from TJ Maxx years ago and the glass is broken out of this side but I didn't care and so I got it anyway and then I just rolled out some fake moss I put some twinkle lights antlers I got this beautiful bowl at Hobby Lobby just some fake moss or not fake some preserved moss in here and then I just put these LED candles that I got from Hobby Lobby I just think that is so pretty I actually I had an extra bow, and I don't even know where I put it, but it's a red and white bow, and I think I'm going to tie it to the bottom of that whenever I finish in here. See, this is why it takes me so long to do the home tours, because I keep thinking of new things, and I want to show y'all all of my ideas, but it's almost close to Christmas, so I was like, well, I got to hurry up and do this home tour. And over here, I have 
this piece full of all of our blankets and extra sheets and then some extra clippings that Miss um, Linda had, my neighbor, some Holly clippings. And then I love these old radios. I have one in here and one in my office and we listen to the radio all the time. They're so cute. They add so much character to our home. And then we'll go talk about the nightstands next. 99 cent poinsettias from Home Depot on Black Friday. And I bought these, I'll get up closer. I bought the little um, containers for them at Hobby Lobby. And then I have our oils displayed in two different pieces. I'll get up closer. But for Black Friday special with Young Living this year, I already had this lantern diffuser that was white. It used to be in our living room. And so they came out with a black one this year for um, Black Friday with a really good deal bundled up with some oils. So I was like, oh, perfect. I'm going to put the white one on my nightstand, the black one on Drew's nightstand. We'll both have diffusers that we can fill up. And Drew's really good at making oil combinations. I did one last night. And I was like, your smells better than mine. And he put Sacred Mountain and um, Peppermint in his oil diffuser. So if you have those oils, you need to put that in your diffuser because it smelled really good. But anyway, it really gets kicking in here. And I can even smell it into our bathroom. So it really smells up our house really nicely. These have the same run timers, like 10 hours. They have the candle flicker. They go through different light modes. But I just love the lantern flicker on each side of the bed. I think it's so pretty. That might be one of my favorite ideas that I have came up with this season in here. Okay, so we'll get closer. And so Drew got me this little um, jewelry box whenever we got married on our wedding day. And so I just used it to put my oils in that I like to use at night. This looks like birch wood almost. Whoops. Um, and I got this from Hobby Lobby. And all I did was... It comes with wrapped up in like red tin paper and I just took that off and just plopped it down in there. And then I have me a pretty little um, can of, or what is it called? Decan, I can't remember what they're called. Hmm, decanter maybe. I have um, this over here to fill up my diffuser with. And then I have this remote back here to remind myself to tell y'all that y'all have got to get one of these. I have this on my Amazon shop and I'm gonna link my Amazon shop below again. So here's what it looks like and then you just plug your cords into it and then you just use your on off and so instead of having to go through the whole house and unplug everything you just have to use your remote so i have a bunch of these throughout the house a bunch in my bedroom and a bunch in my living room and so now all i have to do at night when i want them on i turn them on when i want them off you just hit the off you have to point it at it but so i think that is such an easy idea so nice and also have this one over here plugged up also. So, we'll go over here to Drew's nightstand. Drew made me this headboard too, by the way. He just um, built the headboard and then we got these lights um, at a place near us. And Drew hooked those up on the headboard. And Mom said she thought the string lights kind of took away from the elegant lights, but I didn't care. It just made it look so cozy and fun in here. So, I was like, we're keeping them. And then on Drew's side, he has his diffuser, his poinsettia. This is where he keeps his oils on, this little log piece, and then um, has the holes in it. We can't keep everything pretty on the nightstand. He had to have his charger up here, and then this is his bottle to fill up his diffuser. Over here in my diffuser, I have, I think it's called Sugar Plum Fairies. And so here's the graphic I got off of Pinterest for this oil blend. And then in Drew's diffuser, we have the blend going to Grandmother's House We Go. It had a few um, um, tree scents in it, so I wanted to use that one on his side. So here's the graphic I got off of Pinterest for that one. And then on this side of the bed, we have our fireplace. I love this fireplace. Um, Drew's, one of Drew's co-workers were getting rid of it and it was brown. We painted it white, distressed it, and then it has the fire glow to it, but it also heats up this room really nice. So these are super awesome to have in your bedroom if you don't have a fireplace in your bedroom or even in your living room. I think it's a great investment. And then up here, I love this little twinkling sign I got from Kirkland's. And then we got this lamp that Drew's nanny gave us from her house and it's just beautiful. I love it. And I got these little uh, lights from Walmart, I think. And so they kind of have like a um, flickering look to it. And then this is some live garland that my neighbor friend, Miss Linda, again, 
gave me from her yard and so this just adds like a really warm touch to all this white over here and then I just draped some lights big glowing lights in this garland and then I got this cute clock from my stick relics for like five dollars and then these cute Christmas trees um, came from an antique store and it came with one more but mom and I split it she took the one and I took the two but she just told me they had some I think on Wayfair um, for sale so I think you would just call them like mercury glass but I've seen some like this at like TJ Maxx and Home Goods too this year and then also I had someone send me this little block and these are the oils that I put on me every day like I don't I don't use perfumes anymore at all at all like I'm scared of that stuff now after all that I've heard and all that I've read um it's just really scary so I don't use that anymore but I use my oils and I get compliments all the time about how good that I smell and everybody wants to know what I have on me and I'm like it is it's essential oils and they just look at me like I'm crazy because I think everybody thinks essential oils are like peppermint and lemon and lavender and it's not like Young Living makes all these awesome blends um all these plants that smell really good and so these are the ones I put on me every day. This is called like the daily protocol or like the happy day protocol. And so I um, was told about it from my cousin Camille and I absolutely love how I smell when I put these on me. And so if you want to know how I use these every day, go follow me on Instagram. Probably um, we're going on a trip for New Year's. When we get back, I'm planning on doing like a day in the life with me and just showing like a basic what maybe a basic day in my life would look like so i'll show you how i use my oils too if you're interested in that but she gave me this little block and i got to pick out what i wanted on it and drew and i had two little sayings we wanted on it but we picked if creation sings your praises so will i we absolutely love that song and so i knew i would be coming here every day to put these on me and i could see that and so i would know to sing god's praises every day and so um, I'll link her down below. Um, she has a really cute little shop where she can make all kinds of little things. And so I think that you'll really enjoy this. I wanted to show y'all this too. I bought this bottle from my Amazon shop and it's a spray bottle. I just put water and then I put an essential oil in there called Evergreen Essence. And then, um, Molly Holt, the one that makes those cute little decals that you can go to her shop, um, Etsy shop, and I'll link it down below. She sent me over this cute little Christmas tree. And so I put it on this and then this is what I use. I just shake it up. And this is what I use to spray all of my live greeneries and garlands to keep it fresh. And, and it has that evergreen essence essential oil in there. So it makes it smell really good too. To our bathroom. I have a collection of robes. I love cozies, softies, snugglies. I love it. And then this, this is not a robe, but this is a onesie that I got from Walmart. And I pretty much live in this thing. Oh my gosh, Drew makes fun of me, but I love it. It has the cute little, um furry balls on it so that's what that is and then I have in the morning when I rise give me Jesus and then I have this cute little um Christmas tree this is actually a fake Christmas tree I did use some fake but I tried to use just mostly my live plants and greenery and stuff like that to decorate this year for Christmas and then we have this beautiful chandelier that I got um from a good friend that lives close to me and she collects antiques she has an ebay store and i'll link her down below um so you can buy from her she is called yellow leaf antiques and so i got this chandelier from her and i think it is just oh, breathtaking over our bathtub and then this is what the garland looks like from home depot it's this long and um it looks so good hanging up in our bathroom it's kind of the lighting's gonna go yellow there we go and then um what's new what's new just have this little setup over here and then i got this this is the other thing i got i got this from um angie's little um front porch cell too this is a big mercury glass base and i just dropped my poinsettia in there it still had the red wrapping on it but i just dropped it in there and called it done and i just thought it was so cute these are some hand soaps that we made all homemade all natural um and use essential oils and so my friend amber hosted a little get together a little party and we made a bunch of homemade stuff and another thing we made was this candle i've been so scared to death of candles and so she, we made these 100% soy candles. And I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? And so she sent me all the information. I got to research it. And this is safe. So I will be making some more candles. It was so easy. You just 
you buy the soy wax, um, make sure that's 100% soy. You just melt it, buy these little wood wicks, and then I use my essential oils to make the scent. And so you see them um, being made out of the cute little coffee tins and stuff. And so that is what I'm going to be making um, out of. I haven't had time yet this Christmas, but I am going to be making some of those. Um, and then over here, I got this from Petals. It was set up um, Christmas open house. Lacey had to put a few of these together and these are paper whites. And so I had to get this. It was just so pretty and I love it sitting in my window. And this cute little bird is just so pretty in that my paper whites are blooming out. And so I just love all my live plants. And then over here, nothing much has changed. I just added a red bow to the top of our wreath. And then this is from Magnolia. I get this, I got this as a birthday present or Christmas present. I can't remember from one of my older jobs. And so um, this is Grow Old Along With Me, The Best Is Yet To Be. And then another Bible verse. I love this one. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. So I can see that one every day as I'm getting ready. And getting ready to go out into this awful scary world. I can read that and feel so much better about it. And then over here, I have, this is the Christmas spirit hand soap. This is what it comes in. But like I said, you get a full jar and you put a third of it and then fill the rest of it with water. So the rest of this is in a mason jar. So I have that. And I don't buy Bath and Body Works stuff anymore at all. Um, or I don't go to TJ Maxx or Target or any of those other places where you go to buy hand soaps or candles. I don't buy that stuff anymore. So, and then over here, I didn't have this in my cabinet, but it was just so much more easier um, to have it all sitting right here. And so it has been a mess, but I found this little thing. It's like a little makeup holder, like brush holder. I got it from Home Goods, and so I just have my oils that I like to use every day in here. I have these for my face, my chapstick my toners, my lash serum. This is something else that um, Molly Holt made me. And it's a little, it's got eyelashes on it, you can't really tell. But I just put coconut oil in here and then I put lavender and cedar wood and I'll put it on my eyelashes. And I can already tell the difference. I've only been doing this for a few days and I can tell my eyelashes have grown. So I've been doing that. Anyway, this is just um, essential oils. And then a lot of people wanna know where this came from. I've had this for forever and it came from Kirkland's, but we have not been able to help anybody find it at all. And then a little lamp. And then over here, Drew has his Christmas spirit hand soap. And then he has his patchouli because he puts this um, on his beard every day. That is our Tula area. This is a little bench that Drew made us that has all of our dirty clothes in it. And then this is our shower, our grand shower, everybody has a fit over. I have so a I shower have curtain in here that I got from Target because we don't have the glass doors and in the winter it gets really cold in here. Then I have eucalyptus hung up again and then we have our, let me get in here and show you these. I bought these, I've heard that they smelled and worked really great, but they have all kinds of different scents and products with Young Living. More than an oil company, they have like anything you can buy at a drugstore like um, the bath and shower gel, the shampoo, the conditioner, um, this is my shave oil. Oh, look, our shower is dirty. I am so sorry. I didn't clean that glass. <laughs> anyway, so I got um, the lavender mint shampoo and conditioner and then the dragon time. And I bought those this time because the colors reminded me of Christmas. And I knew that the lavender mint would smell really good for Christmas time. And then over here, I just have some of the eucalyptus oils that we love dropping into the shower. I've heard that you can drop it on a wet rag and throw it on the bottom of your shower so it don't um, run down the drain. And it's really good. It helps open you up, and so we love having these oils in here. And then I have our little bench, and I got this cute little towel at Home Goods, and then my plant that is doing awesome. I got this the spring of this year, and it has just grown like crazy. And then that little pot I got from Rusted Relics, and I store some of like our razors and wash rags and stuff like that in there. So that is it for this year's home tour. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun decorating this year. I love the season so much just because of how special that this time of year is and what it truly means. I just want to let y'all know that I love y'all and that God blesses y'all with a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful rest of your year. If you are interested in Young Living and wanting help at all swapping over some stuff to get your home a little bit more um, 
safer for you and your family, please message me. You can email me at simplylakeandlace at yahoo.com. I would love to help you out. Love to send you brochures or graphics or anything that I can to help y'all out and let y'all know um, that I'm here for y'all and that I will do anything that I can to help out you and your families to live in a little bit more safer of an environment. And then also um, all the things that I was talking about with the links below, um, you can check that out in my description box. So that was little um, shout outs that I was giving out. Um, different people's YouTubes that I love following. You can see that in the description below and click their link. So don't forget to subscribe to your favorite YouTubers. It means so much to us. And I know that you don't understand right now, but if YouTube ever did crack down and get rid of the smaller channels, you will probably be kicking yourself that you didn't listen and go and create an account or just go to hit that subscribe button. <laughs>